plate tectonics. How solid is the earth beneath our feet? Now, unlike an egg, the surface of the earth isn't made of one completely solid piece. It's actually made of lots of different plates. These plates move around on the surface. And like an egg, the earth is made of lots of different layers inside. You've got an inner and outer core, and then you've got a fluid mantle with the crust making up actually quite a small part of the overall volume. You can do your own jam jar experiment to show the convection that happens in the earth and causes plate movement or tectonics. To see this, you're going to need some cold water in a jar and some hot water. So that we can see the difference, I'm going to put some red food colouring in our hot water and some blue food colouring in the cold water. I'll show you what happens when you pour a hot liquid into a cold liquid. You can see the convection currents as the hot liquid rises above and curls round and the cold liquid swirls around the base of the jar. This is called convection. These convection currents cause the Earth's plates to move and where they meet they push and pull against each other at faults. Now there's three different kinds of ways that plates can meet at a fault. You can either get convection currents causing plates of the earth to move apart in a divergent boundary, or you can have a convergent boundary where one plate is pushing against another and one plate can get pushed beneath another one. And you can get mountain building in these areas. And finally, you can have um, transform boundaries where they're just moving sideways against one another and they're not pushing or pulling apart, they're just moving sideways. These plate movements can cause earthquakes. 